you're ready for the interview, don't answer. Yes, I'm ready. Yeah. Well, usually people should answer the messages, no? Yes. I ask you. Yeah, I ask you on the chat if you're ready. You didn't answer. Yes, I'm ready. Well, how am I supposed to know if I won't call you? Uh, uh, you can call me. <laughs> okay. What is uh, your name and date of birth? My full name is date of birth uh, is uh, zero on zero three uh, nineteen ninety six. And what is your home address? Uh, my home address is uh, big country. Yes, uh, sorry. Uh, Ace fifteen uh, Badutoli Kalabara Potuakali. And what is the course that you applied for? Uh, MSc International Business. Okay, so during the interview today, I need to take some notes. So if at any time I pause or go silent, there is nothing to worry about, okay? Okay. Please also be aware during the interview today, if you provide any answers, that later will be proved to be untrue. And this will be considered a breach of our terms and conditions. Okay. Right. When you are providing answers, your look has to be towards the camera. Okay. Yes. Yes. Right. So, um, can you look at the camera now for me? Yes. Let's practice. Yeah. So this is how, where you have to look. Okay. Okay. So why did you choose to study in the UK? Um, there are so many reasons uh, behind this uh, consideration of. Uh, UK is my first choice to study my post graduation course. Uh, for example, uh, British higher education and qualifications are highly recognized. The United Kingdom uh, encourages students uh, to develop their potential, skills, knowledge, and critical thinking while enjoying a full social life. So, UK has a rich diversity of cultures, um, uh, languages, and uh, uh, the faiths, so I will uh, find widely varied cuisine, the strong transport links, uh, famous music festivals, and uh, international sport championships, and um, and are consistently performing one of the best top universities uh, in the world. So according to QS World Ranking uh, 2020, on four out of ten top universities are from UK. So I will be getting a good quality of education from uh, UK. Uh, and uh, UK, uh, if I uh, study there, so every uh, every year many students um, decide to um, decide to um, study in UK for their higher study. So if I study there, uh, I can meet with them and I can have experience um, their uh, cultures. So it will be um, for uh, it will be for me. Uh, global uh, networking and it will help me uh, in future career goal. Uh, and another reason is um, UK provides on year post graduation course uh, while the other uh, countries, uh, Canada and USA, they provide uh, two years master's course. So if I study in UK, then I can save my time and uh, uh, money also. So that's why I choose to study in Ulster University uh, in UK. London campus. All right. Um, did you consider studying in any other country? Uh, yes, I have considered um, the USA and Canada, but uh, uh, comparing uh, those countries, uh, basically, uh, UK has a comp competitive advantage uh, for me. That's why I choose to study in UK. Right. So, what you didn't like about those countries? What made you study in UK? So what you didn't like about them? Uh, basically, uh, UK has a uh, what, varied... No, UK. Um, we spoke about UK already. I'm okay. talking about the other countries, sir. Oh, okay. USA and Canada. Uh, sorry. Uh, in USA, um, basically, um, in first year, many universities uh, made compulsory uh, for students, uh, for international students to stay in um, universities resident. Uh, so resident with their uh, with uh, sharing um, the roommates and uh, the foods also but in UK um, uh, they don't have any compulsory uh, to uh, stay with roommates and food meals uh, international students can uh, live 
freely freed with freedom so uh, this is a good thing uh, for uk uh, and uh, the uh, crime crime rate occurrence is uh, in uh, usa but uh, in uk um, there is a strict uh, crime gun law so i i will feel uh, more safe uh, in uk uh, and uh, if i compare with canada uh, there i i, uh, I, I my research um, actually said that uh, there is uh, extremely uh, the climate is extremely cold for me uh, whether i um, grew up in a different country with different uh, climate but in uk the climate is more adjustable for me and the, the in contrast uh, the from my home country bangladesh to uh, uk the distance is uh, 8087 km but uh, the usa is 13219 km and uh, canada is 10994 so uh, it is uh, more convenient for me to fly uh, in uk and that's why i choose uh, my study in uk okay Uh, why did you decide not to study in your home country? Uh, well, uh, in Bangladesh, uh, there are, um, uh, we get very few resources in terms of international collaboration and industrial attachment. Uh, most of the courses are mainly focused on theoretical based, uh, whilst uh, UK universities have industrial attachment and uh, focuses practical um, uh, study environment, uh, which is um, more benefit uh, for uh, students. Uh, to get um, real job experience so again uh, being a diverse uh, uh, multicultural uh, environment expands the knowledge uh, broader in terms which is not available in any other countries or cities comparing london and uk and the comparison of uh, study curriculum uh, uh, is least considered uh, there is no doubt that uh, uk universities um the <laughs> no sorry basically i i'm comparing uh, with my home country yeah i need you to tell me again okay about uk i heard about uk first okay. time that's why basically you about your country what you did not like about your country basically my uh, in my country the courses are um, uh, mainly focused on theoretical based and uh, in in bangladesh Uh, the certification value is not worldwide uh, recognized so uh, th that's why i uh, i need a foreign degree uh, for fulfilling my career goal okay why did you choose this university well um first of all i uh, want to mention uh, the universities uh, course module structures uh, the global business in um, context uh, international uh, finance global uh, marketing i want to tell me about university not about the modules uh, sorry basically i want to say that uh, the unique modules yeah. the first sorry. yes i understand students are preparing themselves for yes, the interview yes. today yes. however you need to answer our questions not what you prepared yes i am okay. prepared yes I don't need you to tell me in your way the way you prepared yourself the okay. way you memorize it I need you to reply to what I'm asking you so if I ask you about university I expect you to speak about the university and not about the modules do you understand Yes yes I understand Okay thank you sir can you carry on talking about university please? Yes 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 thank I basically you. appreciate Yes uh, basically um, I have chosen this university first of all the Uh, uh ranking uh, complete university guide 2022 the alstra university ranking is 44 uh, the uqs world ranking uh, alstra rank uh, alstra university is uh, 651 to 700 and uh, under times higher education alstra university ranking is 7600 uh, on to uh, 800 so that means uh, this university is uh, doing um, great in uh, world ranking uh, this is the first thing and the another thing is uh, the course modules are unique and uh, alstra university has 2000 plus uh, international students uh, from uh, over 80 different uh, countries and alumni 120 on um, different uh, regions so who is made it a true international uh, university 
and uh, if I study there, I can meet with them and uh, mix their culture. So this will uh, create global networking for me. Uh, and uh, and the another thing is that this university is located in inner London. So London is the most diverse uh, city in the world. Uh, that's why I choose this university. Uh, the, and uh, if I compare the uh, my considered other universities, um, the tuition fee, ranking, uh, satisfaction rate, everything uh, is uh, competitive, has a competitive advantage uh, rather than uh, the first university. So uh, if I compare uh, my uh, cons considered another universities like Greenwich University and London South Bank University, uh, then I can. Can you tell me what are the facilities that you find in the Ulster campus, please? Yeah, yes, thank you. Uh, first of all, the main facility is the uh, experienced uh, lecturers and uh, academics uh, who will uh, use their experience uh, to demonstrate the, the uh, theory uh, which I will learn uh, can be relayed with um, real uh, international, uh, international business context. So another thing is uh, the computer facility have workspace where I can um, get the opportunity to um, uh, the theoretical uh, Sorry, uh, the typical um, uh, uh, printed uh, materials and uh, in uh, webs in universities job uh, in universities portal, um, I will get uh, e um, documents and a database. So the most of the uh, e journals I can access uh, from my home. Uh, the another thing is uh, as a Austria University, I will get um, uh, student discount fr from um, uh, uh, Apple products such as iPhones, iPads, iMacs, and I will get uh, latest Microsoft Office suit for free uh, with a Mac Cafe antivirus, uh, which I can keep my computer safe and uh, um, safe from uh, uh, viruses and attacks. And this uh, university uh, is uh, located in inner London, so uh, in historic Holborn, so which is near uh, to many restaurants, bars. Uh, attractions. Okay. Yes. Um, which other UK universities did you consider? Well, uh, I have considered uh, two universities uh, in UK, uh, Greenwich University and London South Bank University. And what can you tell me about these two universities? Why you didn't choose them? Well, um, basically, um, I have chosen uh, MSc International Business. So, in uh, I'm not asking you. That. Oh, sorry, this um, basically uh, those universities have those course um, uh, in Greenwich University. The course is International Business MA, and London South Bank University. The course is um, uh, MSc International Business Management. That's why I uh, considered those universities, uh, but uh, the. Uh, QS World Rank, uh, sorry, Complete University Guide 2022. The Greenwich University ranking is um, 84, and London South Bank University ranking is uh, 112. And uh, if I compare the tuition fee uh, with Ulster University, then Ulster University tuition fee is 13,250, uh, where Greenwich University tuition fee is. Um, uh, 16,000 and London South Bank University is 15,400. So which is um, uh, more, a bit more uh, comparing uh, with the ranking. Uh, and the satisfaction rate, uh, uh, Ulster University rank, uh, satisfaction rate is 78%. Uh, the Greenwich University satisfaction rate is 75% and uh, London South Bank University satisfaction rate is uh, 73%. So uh, comparing uh, with those uh, uni universities, uh, basically uh, uh, Ulster University have uh, more competitive advantage and uh, Ulster University uh, responds me very quickly. Okay, did you choose this course? Yes, um, the MSc International Business courses aim to allow students uh, to acquire mastery of both a macro and a micro context of international business. Uh, it is designed um, uh, to enable students uh, to um, uh, build, develop, and integrate international business program. 
the global business in context um, this uh, module will um, help me with an introduction to financial uh, theory uh, techniques for entrepreneurship and uh, managerial decision making in uh, international business uh, context the international entrepreneurship uh, this uh, module will um, help me uh, to as a I'm not telling you to speak about module sir i'm telling you to tell me why did you choose this course so basically you to this course and what how this course will help you for future yes this is what i'm saying uh, uh, okay <laughs> So basically, uh, my career goal is to become a hotel manager. So uh, I uh, so researched th that uh, this course uh, will help me uh, to achieve my career uh, goal. Uh, most importantly, this course will um, uh, assist me uh, to acquire my uh, uh, the, the requirement and skills. So that's why I cho choose this um, uh, course. What are the modules that we'll be studying in this course? Well, um, global business in context, uh, international um, finance, global uh, marketing and sales development, international HRM, uh, global uh, international HRM, uh, then uh, the international entrepreneurship, uh, the digital landscape, and uh, uh, the international research, uh, business research skills and the dissertation and or uh, applied research project and every module um, are core and 15 credits right. can you tell me what you will learn in the module called global marketing and sales development uh, well, um, basically uh, this course will um, uh, help me in understanding the a global um, perspective of international business, uh, like uh, such as financial theory, uh, in international entrepreneurship, and managerial decision making in uh, future scenarios. What do you plan to do once you complete your studies? Yes. Uh, uh, my uh, plan basically after completing this course i will come back to my home country um, and i will join uh, as an assistant uh, hotel manager uh, in uh, in my uh, home country's uh, local um, renowned hotel uh, such as hotel serena dhaka uh, or um, western dhaka the long beach uh, dhaka uh, then uh, radisson blue and water garden uh, marriott la meridian so uh, after two or three years later uh, i will be um, i i will i will have uh, the experience and uh, i can use this uh, course uh, value uh, and i uh, i will achieve my uh, career goal career, career target uh, hotel manager and that time uh, my uh, salary will be um, uh, more than uh, 2.5 lakh to 3 lakhs right um <laughs> Do you, what would be your responsibilities as a system hotel manager? Well, um, there are um, the many responsibilities. Uh, first of all, uh, overseeing personnel, um, uh, including uh, a receptionist, uh, uh, then uh, office employees, and uh, main, maintaining the office um, office employee employers' performance and uh, conducting um, the regular evaluations to help customer service. Um, then, uh, uh, sorry, uh, registering and uh, welcoming guests once they arrive, uh, then uh, collecting payments and maintaining the uh, records of uh, bu buzzers, farms, and uh, expenses. When did you complete previous studies and what did you study? <coughs> uh, well, um, I have completed. Um, uh, Masters in 2020, and um, after uh, Corona pandemic well, comes. Completed in 2020. Well, uh, in tourism and hospitality management department. So why do you need to do international business now if you already finished hospitality? Yes, uh, actually I have already mentioned that uh, in Bangladesh, uh, basically uh, for fulfilling my career target, I need. Uh, uh, my master's degree from UK uh, in international business 
uh, MSc in international business. So this is a requirement basically. That's why I uh, chose to study uh, this course. What have you been doing since you completed this degree? Well, um, after, after completing the, uh, this degree, uh, the corona pandemic comes around and uh, uh, the, the job market was uh, closed that time. So uh, when the world was getting better, I was searching a good job but uh, didn't get uh, that according to my choice. So for fulfilling this, um, uh, for fulfilling my uh, career goal, I found that I need a, a master's degree from uh, UK. So now I am looking forward to go to the uh, UK for. Are you sure you the no, no, no. I didn't. Um, I don't. So two years since you finished your degree, what have you yes. been doing? Um, basically, um, the, in two years, uh, the corona pandemic was um, comes around. And when the uh, world was getting better, um, I was searching, but I didn't get that. So then I uh, planned that I will uh, go to uh, abroad for my uh, higher study. So I, I prepared IELTS exam and I, uh, I have completed IELTS exam and I uh, got the result. Uh, in the How did the money come from to pay for the tuition fees and living expenses? Uh, well, um, the money comes from my uh, father. My father is sponsoring me. Uh, my father is a, a businessman. Uh, he has uh, three apartments in my hometown and a few acres of land where he cultivates uh, agriculture and uh, maintain uh, an agro farm. So every month uh, he uh, collects uh, one lakh taka from uh, agro farm and the apartment rent he collects uh, two lakh taka. So, uh, that means total uh, income. Okay, you will get happy to the money. Does your father has any other dependents apart of you? No, no, no. I, uh, uh, my father don't have any dependent. Uh, okay. What is your father's total monthly income? Well, my father's total monthly income is uh, 36 lakh taka. Uh, when you apply for your visa, you will need to provide evidence of money being available to you. Yes. Will this money be in your bank account or someone else's? Bank no, no, account? my my bank account. And what is the current amount in your bank account? Uh, it's uh, thirty-eight point five lakhs. <clears throat> How long do you have this money in your bank account? Uh, it's almost um, uh, 20 days. Okay. How did you pay for the university deposit? Uh, yes, um, I already deposited uh, 2,000 pound. And, um, How did you deposit it? Yes, I, I deposited from a bank account. From your bank account? Yes, from my bank account, bank account. Do you have any family members that rely on you for money? No, no. I... Are you married or have children? Yes, I'm married. What is your wife's occupation? Uh, my wife is um, now studying in my home country. So who is supporting her financially? Basically, um, uh, his uh, family, uh, my family is uh, supporting her sorry her family is supporting her uh, financially do you have any children no 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 i don't have any children are any of the funds in your bank account borrowed from another source no do you have any family or friends currently living in the uk no 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 the, there is no one in uk do you plan to bring anyone with you to the UK? No, no, I don't have any plan because after completing this course, uh, on your course, I will come back to my home country. So I don't Where are you to... going to leave during your studies? Uh, uh, my address uh, in UK. Is it? Yes. Yes. Uh, I will live at Friendship House. Uh, the, friend, uh, the address is Friendship House uh, 3 Belvedere Palace, uh, SE1 OAD.
How much is accommodation will cost you? Well, uh, the accommodation cost is um, uh, per week on 47 and uh, uh, per month 636.5. How far is that from the university campus? Uh, basically, uh, it's, um, uh, I, I will need uh, 19 minutes uh, to go there by public transport. How much? Sorry, how long? Uh, basically, I, I, I will need 19 minutes uh, to uh, go there by public transport. Have you ever previously applied for any type of UK visa? No, no, no I didn't apply any type of visa. Have you ever previously applied for any type of visa for any other country? No, no, I, I didn't apply to any other countries. What is the address of the university campus? Yes, uh, my university campus is located in inner London. The address is uh, London ST James House, uh, 10 Rosebery Avenue, EC on R 40F 00 on. What is the duration of your course? Uh, this course's duration is uh, on year. And how much your course will cost you? Yes, uh, it uh, it will cost uh, thirteen thousand two fifty. But I will um, get discount, uh, fifteen percent discount from this university. Uh, that is uh, nineteen eighty seven point five. So after deducting this um, uh, discount, I have to pay total eleven thousand two sixty two point five pound. Do you plan to work part-time during your studies? No, no, I, I don't have any plan uh, for a uh, part-time job because uh, my father is financing me, so... All right, thank you. Do you plan to apply for the post-study working visa? No, no, I don't have any uh, other intention to post-study. Okay. These are my questions for you for today. I will get back to your agent with an answer. Okay, thank have you. Have a nice day. Bye. Thank you very much. Bye.